You may remember from one of the first videos in Euchre series that I mentioned that her very first night home, she actually slept six hours without getting up. Okay, it's been six hours. It's some sometime in the morning and uh, we just had our first peep. Now, this was not by accident. In fact, we were pretty sure this was gonna happen this way. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you a bunch of tricks that we use in order to help us get our puppies to sleep through the night, and it doesn't involve setting an alarm. I'm Cal McCann, this is Euchre. Welcome back to McCann Dogs. What a lot of people don't realize is that overnight potty training actually starts earlier in the night. There's certain things that you can do in the evening, in the late evening, that's gonna set yourself up for success overnight. And that first one is gonna be sort of your evening prep. Now, one of the most important things is to make sure that your puppy goes to sleep with an empty bladder. And there's a couple things that you can do to ensure this happens. Number one is think about limiting their access to water after a certain time. Now, everybody's gonna be different depending on what they uh, time they go to bed. But for us, we stopped letting her have access to water about after 8 p.m. or so. And that way we knew that she didn't have any uh, water left in her bladder. When she went to the bathroom, she'd be pretty empty. Along with water, we're also going to change or limit the access to food and when we feed her. Now, it's pretty common for me to train pretty late into the evening. So when I do that, I'll only give her a limited amount of food. And then I try to choose to use maybe a toy reward in the late evening instead of food so that I'm not giving her a bunch of extra stuff. And then we try to make sure that um, she has a poop before we take her to her crate for the night. Let's talk a little bit about poop, dog poo specifically. And it's actually a subject I know quite a bit about because I've gotten pretty good at getting my dogs to go to the bathroom before bedtime, which means I get a nice long sleep. Now, now, there's a trick to getting your dog to go to the bathroom and one of the most helpful things that you can do is get your puppy to be active. One of the things that I like to do um, later in the night with my training and using that toy is she's more energetic. I'll either play a little fetch, a little tug of war, or sometimes I'll just take her for a little romp around the outside of the uh, property just to loosen things up and she's far more likely to go to the bathroom. And often if I take her outside and she doesn't go, I find if I just walk her around for a little while before I know it, she's uh, she's gone to the bathroom and that way I know that throughout the night she's empty and it's very unlikely she's gonna ask to uh, to go out again I have a really important question and it could change everything in terms of your overnight potty training do you know your puppy's potty schedule at this point now this is something that took us a few weeks to figure out with Euchre one of the things that we discovered is that you know, I'm gonna talk about poop again but she's a double pooper in the morning I found that I would take her outside she'd have her normal pee her normal poop and I would think Woo we're ready to start the day and within an hour or so she would be looking for a place to go to the washroom once again and so I actually learned over time that there was certain times of day that she is much more likely to go to, go to the washroom um, and that allowed me to ensure that those um, times those points had been met before we went to bed at night it's very common for her to have to go to one more time before we go to bed so if it's getting close to bedtime and I know she still hasn't had her her evening poop I'll go through some of those things things on the list I mentioned earlier about, you know, doing a bit of training with her, maybe doing a bit of exercise, taking her for a walk, get those things moving so that she actually does follow her schedule, which makes overnight much easier for the both of us. We've talked a lot in our previous potty training videos about common times where they do have to go. Things like coming out of their crate or after they had a big nap or after they had a lot of play. We want to take advantage of those opportunities and use it to help us make an overnight potty training plan. A lot of people think they have to set an alarm overnight and get up several times to let your puppy outside, but I'm very happy to say that you don't actually have to do that. You have an alarm system built in right here. And um, we would recommend that you keep your puppy's crate nearby where you're sleeping so that if they do stir, you can hear them and then get up and take them out. Now, with a lot of the other tips that we're gonna be mentioning in this video, hopefully you're gonna be able to find that even within the first couple nights, your puppy will sleep for a long time. Um, she did whimper a little bit the first couple nights that she was home, but it wasn't until early in the morning that we had to get up. And I heard her stir, got up, let her out, and, and dealt with it at that point. Um, but they're going to, there's going to be a, a time when you don't want that to become the routine. Now, eventually we pushed our six hours 
hour time frame to she sleeps about eight hours a night which is pretty great so the way that we did that is that, you know after a few days of getting up at 6 a.m to let her go to the washroom we would then push it five or ten minutes i might let her whimper a little bit i might just bang on her crate a little bit and tell her quiet settle wait a few minutes for her to settle and then i would let her up and and take her outside to go potty um, and each day i sort of push it a bit more and i think after the second day she fell right back asleep for another hour or so so it was a pretty easy transition but it's much easier for me to feel less guilty about letting her outside if i know that before she went to bed she fully went to the bathroom she had good exercise you know i i know that i've set her up for success so I feel less guilty about letting her out all throughout the night. She learns to have a, a long, good night's sleep, and so do I. Now, if you do have to get up in the middle of the night to have your dog go potty, it's really important that when you take them out that you make sure it's all business and no pleasure. So if you come out and your puppies are running around and being, you know, having a bit of a party, just keep the leash a little bit shorter. Just encourage them to hurry up. We often suggest teaching our puppies to go to the bathroom on command. I'll often tell her, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up and then encourage her to go from there. If she's not going within a minute or so, I'm just gonna take her back inside and put her back in her crate before we try it again. But if we come out and then we do a little play and we make it a bit of a game, I don't want her waking me up in the middle of the night so that we can go outside and have a, a little party together. So make sure it's all business, no pleasure, get the job done, back inside, back to bed. I'm talking a lot about a structure with our puppies, but looking down the road a little bit, there are certain things that, um, that you might not need to worry about as your puppy gets a little bit older. Things like restricting water throughout the night or um, you know, not feeding or playing with them at a certain time of the evening. As your puppy gets a little bit older, they are going to learn how to self-regulate. And one of the ways that you're gonna know that you're ready to kind of loosen the rules a little bit is, you know, is your puppy successfully making it overnight every single night without asking to go outside or with Without having any issues um, you know are they typically doing well with their house training during the day as well do they understand to hold it or to ask you to go outside um, do they understand not to have accidents in their crate um, can they spend a long time in their crate without needing to go outside these things are all going to slowly start to come together for you and at that point you can start to decide whether you want to be a little bit more relaxed with some of those rules and structure if you're still struggling with your puppy potty training make sure you click that card right there to find the biggest mistakes that people make with their puppy potty training. If you're looking for some more help and some specific advice for training your puppy, make sure you check out our Puppy Essentials online program. The link for that is in the description below. On that note, I'm Kale. This is Euchre. Happy training.